Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our weekly prayer time. I just love getting together with you and praying for our country. I don't know if you heard about it, but there was a solar eclipse this morning. It's so exciting and majestic to see. So we're going to pray this week that as people are seeing God's creation, that we would truly be in awe of His majesty. I love Psalm verse, uh, Psalms chapter 8. It says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have ordained strength because of your enemies, that you may silence the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? I encourage you to read the whole psalm, but it's such a beautiful psalm of praise to the Lord for His greatness. Let's pray that Americans and our, especially our leaders would acknowledge God as the Creator and Sovereign. Heavenly Father, we thank You for the incredible creation that You have made. We praise You for the sun and the moon and the stars, the work of Your hands. Lord, we thank You that even though we're just dust and we're a tiny speck in the midst of the universe, that you know us and you love us and you, you even sent your son to die for us, Lord. Father, we pray that our country would turn to you and again acknowledge you as the creator and Lord of our lives. Lord, we pray for our leaders that they would acknowledge you and acknowledge that you are in charge and have authority over our governments. Give us boldness to speak your word clearly and with love. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me. And remember, God's word has the answers for life.